Yeah. Hi, my name is Hyunjik, and I'm a postdoc researcher at UC San Diego. Uh, I'm excited to present my paper on cold start bundle recommendation by a popularity-based coalescence and curriculum heating. This work was done in collaboration with um, Jong Un Lee, uh, Jung In Yoon, and Professor Yu Kang at Seoul National University. This is the outline of presentation of today. Um, I will introduce our work, describe our proposed method, show some ex experimental results, and wrap up with some conclusions. Product bundling is a prevalent strategy in various platforms. It offers one-stop convenience for customers and increases exposure to lesser known products, and it also provides cost-efficient offerings. Examples of product bundlings can be seen across different industries. Bundle recommendation aims to recommend bundles instead of individual items. Um, this technique has become important in many industries as it provides significant benefits over recommending single items. Cold start bundle recommendation aims to recommend bundles that have not been consumed by any users. Um, this problem is crucial in practical scenarios because new bundles are constantly created every day. So this is the formal definition of the cold start bundle recommendation problem. Um, we are given sets of users, bundles, and items, uh, and we have a user bundle interactions. We also have a user item interactions and bundle item affiliations. Then our goal is to recommend K bundles from the set of all bundles to each user. The main challenge is to estimate the relationship between users and cold bundles only using their affiliation information. Um, our contribution, uh, contributions for this work are summarized as follows. We propose COHIT to address the cold start bundle recommendation. And this problem is not well studied before despite its importance. And COIT is a novel learning framework designed for this problem. And we achieved state-of-the-art performance, outperforming 17 computer, computers and, um, in various scenarios. So let me introduce the proposed method. Following the previous method, cross-CBR, uh, we use graph-based views to model the relationship between users, bundles, and, and items. We build two graph-based views, um, the user bundle view and the user item view. The user bundle view captures historical interactions between users and bundles, while the user item view captures the relationships between user and individual items that make up the bundles. In the user bundle view, we obtain the representations of users and bundles directly using light GCN. And the relevant scores between users and bundles are computed by an inner product. In the user item view, we first use light GCN to obtain the representations of users and um, items, and then use an average pooling for bundle representations. In here, we obtain another relevant score using an inner product. Um, to obtain the final relevant score uh, between users and bundles, we need to effectively integrate the two scores from the two different views. However, real-world user bundle interactions are extremely skewed. This means that less popular bundles might be underrepresented in user bundle view. Instead, um, they are sufficiently represented in user item view, as shown in the figure. Um, yeah, sorry for <laughs> the mess up. Um, yeah, so we handle this by using a popularity-based coalescence st strategy that adjusts the influence of each view based on the bundle's popularity. Um, specifically, we use a weighted strategy to combine the relevant scores from bo uh, both the user bundle and user item views. For popular bundles, the user bundle view is more reliable and thus given more weight. Uh, for less popular bundles, we rely more on the user item view. For less popular bundles, 
this weighted combination helps to mitigate the, the influence of the user bundle view's sparsity, while amplifies the richer information available from the user item view. Um, cold bundles, which lack user interactions, require well-represented embeddings from the user item view. Learning these embeddings is challenging because it involves in the understanding all affiliated items of a bundle. To address this, we adopt a curriculum learning strategy called curriculum heating. Um, initially, we focus on learning the, the easier user bundle view embeddings. And as training progresses, we gradually, gradually shift the uh, focus to the more complex user item view embeddings. Here, uh, T denotes training epoch, and epsilon is a hyperparameter of the maximum temperature. Uh, basically, it has a large positive value. Therefore, gamma B decreases as training progresses, and thus learning focus shifts from the user bundle view to the user item view. This progressive learning helps to build robust representations for cold bundles. This also holds the properties that less popular bundles rely more on the user bundle view in a certain time. Um, while the user bundle view and user item view are crafted to capture distinct representations, aligning the two views is essential, especially when predicting interactions for cold bundles. This is because they only use the user item view representations. So we adopt an alignment and uniformity approach, which is sort of well-known contrastive learning. First, we normalize the user and bundle representations from the two views. Then we shorten the distance between the same users or bundles from the two, uh, two different views. And we adopt the uniformity laws to spread the representations in the embedding space. And the final contrastive loss is defined to sum up the two losses. Um, this contrastive, contrastive loss ensures that the embeddings from the two views are close to each other uh, for the same users and bundles. It also helps to scatter different users and bundles across the embedding space, improving the robustness and distinctiveness of the long uh, representations. Then, um, our objective function incorporates BPR loss and the contrastive loss. All the parameters are optimized in an end-to-end -end manner through the optimization. Uh, the dynamic mechanism of Coheed starts with the focus on the user bundle view, gradually shifting to the user item view. This is guided by curriculum heating where the easier user bundle view is learned first, then progressively more complex user item view. Throughout this process, alignment ensures effective knowledge transfer between the views. Uh, for more, uh, less popular bundles get more emphasis from the user item view to leverage richer information. Uh, let me describe our experimental results. We conduct experiments to answer the following questions. First, we compare COHID with existing cold star recommendation methods on various settings. Second, we compare COHID with existing warm star recommendation methods on warm star setting. Third, we compare COHID with cross CBR by changing the cold bundle ratio in the test data set. Uh, we use three real-world data sets, Yushu, Nedis, and iFashioned. Um, each of them crawled from different platforms like Book, Cloud Music, and um, Outfit Sales. We compare Cohit uh, against existing baselines. For cold star methods, we include various methods using different concepts like robustness, constraint, generative, and um, contrastive methods. For warm star methods, we include several item recommendation methods like MFBPR, LightGCN, and more. And yeah, and for uh, the bundle recommendation, we use we compare with the then bundle net, uh, BGCN, and CrossCBR. 
we evaluate the performance in three scenarios, um, cold star scenario, and warm star scenario, and all bundle scenario. Cold star setting indicates that only cold bundles are included, included in test data set, while warm star setting indicates that there are no cold bundles in the test data set. All bundle setting means that both warm and cold bundles are included in the test data set. We use metrics like recall at 20 and NDCG at 20 for, the, uh, for measuring the performance. Um, this table shows the comparison with uh, cold star recommendation methods. As shown in the table, Coheed outperforms cold star computers in all three settings on all data set with a large margin. This demonstrates that um, this demonstrates the outperformance of Coheed in addressing the cold star bundle recommendation. This table shows the um, comparison with warm star recommendation methods on warm star setting. Coheed shows comparable and even slightly higher performance than base baselines in warm star scenarios. This indicates that Coheed does not lose the warm star performance, though it focuses on the cold star recommendation. Uh, we also compare the performance between Coheed and CrossCBR on the varying cold bundle ratios in test data sets. As shown in the figure, the performance, uh, the performance disparity between Coheed and CrossCBR widens as the cold bundle ratio increases. This highlights the effectiveness of uh, cold, uh, Coheed in colder conditions. So let me conclude the presentation. Uh, we address the cold star problem in bundle recommendation, and we propose our novel framework, Coheat, um, to address the problem. And this method integrates popularity-based coalescence, curriculum heating, and alignment and uniformity loss. Uh, as a result, Coheat achieves a superior performance in extensive experiments. Um, thank you for listening, and you can find our code at this link, and please feel free to ask me uh, if you have any questions in mind.